challenge day for our welterweight main event. Covington 34, Masvidal is 37. Both fighters 5 foot 11 inches tall. Both fighters coming in half pound below the divisional limit of 171 pounds. Two inch reach advantage in the blue corner with Masvidal. All right, now for the introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Stephen J. Klubeck, Executive Director Bob Bennett. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Derek Clearly, Saul Amato, and Junichiro Camillo. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This bout is brought to you by Vikings Valhalla, the epic new action series streaming now on Netflix. And by Anwal and his album, Legends Never Die. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five round in the UFC Walter White Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer, holding a professional record, 35 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the number six ranked welterweight contender in the world, Jorge Gabriel. Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 16 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the number one ranked welterweight contender in the world, Colby. All right, gentlemen, we've been over rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. You can touch gloves if you wish. All right, let's do it. Looked like a boxing ring in there for a little bit with all the extra security personnel. They will finally engage here in a matter of moments. Masvidal with his patented pre-fight pose, hands behind the back. And there is the betting favorite the offensive juggernaut, Colby Covington. Tonight's Fight Clock is brought to you by Timex. Official timekeeper of UFC Timex watches have taken a licking and keep on ticking since 1854. I was just thinking, imagine this. I don't know if you've ever had a friend that you've fallen out with and then you agree to fight. But the fight is taking place on the biggest stage possible at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. I mean, that... It's just crazy to think of it. There's a lot of emotions here. Yes. And he has to manage that. Masvidal in red, Covington in black. The only left hand offering from Covington misses. Ooh, he felt that. Yeah, he really did. There's a bit of a wobble to that leg. Masvidal put felt it behind him now. Sorry, Joe. Masvidal felt like there were a lot of opportunities to take advantage of some of Covington's issues on the feet. He might have an issue with that right leg because he switched to orthodox, which he traditionally fights southpaw, and then that sh in, in that shot, when he engaged, it looked like there was a little bit of a, a wobble to that right leg. Yeah, the charge was very kind of sloppy. Yes. And Masvidal was dealing with a nasty eye poke we just saw on the isolation monitor, but the action continued. Herb Dean didn't see it. 
This battle right now is absolutely crucial. Can Masvidal, in the first round, at his at Covington's strongest, stay on the feet? Beautiful job of taking him one way and then the other. And now he's giving up the back. Masvidal has to be very careful. He's back on the feet. Find the hands, try and turn it into him. Masvidal has very good takedown defense. And it's unusual because of his stance. He stands so straight up. But he can stand so straight up because the fact that he has such good takedown defense. And this is what you have to do, what Masvidal is doing. As soon as you hit the canvas, you're going to immediately try and recoil like a spring. You cannot say, okay, I accept this position. Allow Colby to establish a dominant position. You're going to constantly move like he's doing. But he's got to be careful because slowly but surely, Colby's taking the back. He's got a hook in. He's got the neck. Oh. He's going to turn into it. He's got, there it is. Okay, turn towards the choke. Correct. The right shoulder that we see of Masvidal needs to go towards the fence. So you turn into him. The problem is he gives up position. He'll go to his back. But it eradicates the threat of the choke. Masvidal hasn't been submitted since 2009. And it was Toby Imada with a reverse upside down inverted triangle. A reverse upside down. Something like that. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Covington, a workmanlike start here. Under two minutes in round one. This is big for Covington. You'll yep. be able to control him on the ground the first round when he's fresh. Take him down, hold him down, beat him up, and then threaten with these chokes over and over again. And most importantly, you have a dominant first round on the books. If you want to play devil's advocate for Masvidal's side, you could say, okay, listen, there's five rounds. It's, you know, you don't have to take him out there in the first round. You're not taking heavy damage. Yes, you've been dominated. You're going to lose the round. But every round starts at the feet, and then you re restart and go again. Put that in the rear view mirror. Good point. This is, could be dangerous, though. He's almost mounted now with a minute left. And we don't really know what's going on with Kobe's knee. And we really Watch won't the know. The back of the head for sure. Yeah. Do not hit the back of the head. Strong line for oh, come out. There it is. 50 seconds left as well. Masvidal has been forced to work very hard defensively in round one. But good job by yeah. Masvidal. Hip escaping there and getting back up to his feet. Yes. Good job. Obviously, but also oh, big, psychologically. Big elbow. It sends a message. And it's good for the confidence of Masvidal as this fight progresses. Pro Masvidal crowd voicing their support late in the round. A nice return by Masvidal. One, two connects. But Kobe seems to be walking fine on that knee. Whatever it was, deep breaths, George, deep breaths. seems to be okay. Deep, deep breaths, George. Deep breaths. All right, right there, round. I'm going to say this. Yeah, at the password. Yeah, you're going to you have your mouth, okay? Right there, round. The point of the cycle. Yeah, we're going to be in the cycle. Yeah, we're going to be in the cycle. Please, 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 please. Your hands right here when you go to orthodox, okay? When you don't, don't stay. You can engage on everyone because he's already tired. He doesn't have that much energy anymore. But when you, when you want to throw, you don't want to throw like too many punches. Okay, he's gonna count it, but he's feeling everything. <laughs> Next time, try to put him. Uh, uh, you have hips. Have hips try to control back. this one. Just put his body too. Breathe, breathe, breathe. breathe. Go, 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 go. go back to the first round again. Pay attention. Time. Time. Back to your corner. Kobe, that was an eye poke. I checked on replay. It checked it. It's an eye poke. This is a hard warning. Watch your weapons. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. All right, stern warning there. Replay confirmed it was an eye poke. 
Round two is upon us. Slipped by Covington after his head kick attempt was blocked. Mike Brown did say to Masvidal at the end of that round, be mindful of the blitz out of the orthodox stance of Covington. There's a nice low kick. Beautiful low kick. And that's a good strategy. Chip away at the legs. Play the long game. Pretty good head kick from Covington. Masvidal rolled with it. Covington three for five on his takedown attempts unofficially in round one. Masvidal hasn't had a chance to really get anything going with the hands yet. Landed a few good kicks, but so far at range, nothing too good with the fist. That's better work, couple of jabs. Yeah, very good kick to the body there by Masvidal as well. He's got a circle now though. See Covington's backing him up slowly but surely to the... And there it is, five forward, nine to the legs, only five to the head. Covington, 29. A lot of those will be ground strikes. Good jab there by Masvidal. Covington using that orthodox stance, gets inside. Oh, oh, elbows. elbows. He didn't like those. Fascinating chess match. This is what Masvidal has to avoid at all costs. He cannot allow himself to get backed up against the fence. He needs to be mindful of when he's backing up, and then he has to circle. But that's the problem, because when you're a guy like Masvidal, you're like, I don't back up, I don't circle, I don't run away. That was a it's low blow good. by Colby. That was a low Clear. blow. Yeah. Clearly. That was a low blow, Chuck. Do you need time? Hold on, stop. Do you need time? It could this be is going to allow him to separate. Yep. I mean, it's a clear low blow. Oh! No doubt. No doubt. Straight to the crown crews. Yeah, but at, at the very least, it allows Jorge to separate from Coleman. Right. And so when they restart him, yeah. I don't Be think they're going to restart him from that same position. I think they're going to restart him separate. Right. Yeah, because it's Coleman that fouled. If right. it was Masvidal, they would put them back in that position. That's the cost of low blow. I'm somebody. not going to give you back that position because of the low blow. There you go. Wow. Let me know when you're ready. Big, big look you're of ready? disappointment in Colby's face. Okay. Because that was hard to get, right? Yeah. Pretty good nice right hand Hope. connection by Covington. Colby's swinging for the fences. Good, good inside is, kick there by Jorge. It's getting him a little off balance. He's going to turn off the fence. That's nice. He's going to try and disengage now. Right. Push away, maybe. Nice. Oh, knee. That's oh. nice. And now on cut, Covington. He's getting momentum here. Big shots by Jorge. As I was saying, Colby's getting a little desperate on the outside, swinging in with everything that he has, but it's counterproductive. He's allowing for counters, and he's off balance. That's nice. Fate, the leg came up with a punch. Well, unlike in the Usman fight, he seems completely dedicated to getting a takedown. Good point. Well, when you spar with someone and somebody generally gets the better of you in sparring on the feet, that sends a message. He remembers those days. Oh, that's big. Got to be careful, though. Good sprawl by Masvidal. Covington's going to come up and grab a leg. See, look, he's already gathering the, the backside. Wow. That's huge for Colby. So Masvidal could have retreated, instead he engages, and now Covington working off his back portion. Masvidal so good at staying measured and composed and managing his energy in these situations. Nicely done. Cloud Fantastic shot by Jorge there, getting back to his feet and avoiding any danger from that position. Oh, oh he's gonna shoot again at those positions. He's gotta use lateral movement. He's gonna back out to the either side and then circle back to the middle of the octagon. Good jab by Colby. Yeah, tremendous pressure by Colby. And Colby uses that gas tank as a weapon. It's one of the biggest assets that he has on his side. Masvidal 
trying to control that left wrist. And he's able to get some separation, but not returning to the center of the octagon. Oh, Staying out on the apron. Good connections there. Good inside low kick by Jorge, but Colby's on him now. And again, he's going to shoot. Oh, big left hand from Covington late in the round. That after Masvidal had landed a knee to the body. Ten minutes down. He's already very tired. I don't want to stay right here in this, this position. All right, breathe. All right, here's one of the leg kicks from Masvidal. Solid connection on that one there. Of course, Colby had success. Here's a nice right hand by Colby. Head down, a little off balance, but it found the mark. Here's the elbow that opened up that big cut on Colby Covington. And then a left up by Colby right at the end of the round. Finds the mark, Masvidal fires back straight away. Very competitive round. Right here to the chest or elbow to the face. Take the angle, take the angle. Yeah, 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 go, go. Go, 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 go. Remarkably close on the striking front. Both guys have landed 48% of their significant strikes. Masvidal 40, Covington 39. Round three. Fight. And see how fast Colby goes right across the octagon because he doesn't want Masvidal to come out to the center. Woo. Nice little flurry there by Covington, closing the distance. Pressure. Look at the pressure by yeah. Covington. Nice. But with the striking numbers. Almost even, as you say, John, in fact, they are even 40 and 40. With the pressure and the, the takedowns for Covington, that probably puts him ahead. Round two, closer than round one. Covington drops his level. And he gets it easier this time. Much different. Much different in the resistance. Kobe's on top here, but in full guard. Yeah, this is bad. I mean, this is now the first time throughout the fight Colby's got a full-on dominant position, established on the ground, full man. Now he's going to look to Pascal, throw away, throw elbows and punches, and just go to town on Masvidal's face. A couple nice body shots from Covington. This is where he does a lot of his very best work. Elbow he's, got through. He's, oh, he's damaging, opened him up. Damaging Jorge from here. And it's a big, big shots. Elbow after elbow. Not sure if he opened George up yet. Uh, maybe it's called his blood. Oh, these are hard shots. Hard ground and pound from the top by Colby. And this is not where Jorge wants to be. And right now, he doesn't seem to do anything about one. it. Sorry, Joe. Big I mean, strikes piling up. Piling up the numbers as well. I mean, the output is ridiculous. Anyone that is a, a wrestler needs to watch this. Because so many people get on top, but don't make this position work for them. Right here, Colby's taking full advantage. But as we said about Edson Barboza and Bryce Mitchell, Masvidal's got to do something. He's got to go for it. He's got to get the foot on the hips. He's got to push on the head. Get separation. Get on his side. Cannot be flat on your back. Of course. Easier said than done, but you've got a talented, world-class wrestler forcing you down and smashing away at your face. And these are good body shots. Yeah, too, they were there, right? Absolutely drain you. He's Pass trying to step guard. over that leg. He gets over the right leg. Into half guard here. There it is. That's a nice explosion. Making an attempt. He's making an attempt, but giving up the back. And that's more skillful from Colby than a mistake from Masvidal. Yes. Saw an opportunity, and he went for it. And he's inside control now. Dean Thomas, what do you have? Well, the reason why Colby's ground and pound is so, is so dangerous is because he keeps his head directly over top of Jorge's head. And because he can do that, Jorge cannot get out. 
when he's in full guard, the only way to stop that is put both feet on the hips and push his head below his chest. That'll give him the space to be able to get back up. He's looking for a Kimura here. I mean, this is a dominating round for Cobra Covington. And this is an exhausting round for Jorge. And so destroyed as well. Yes. And he's getting dominated and beat up. And then three rounds in, he knows there's two more to go. And this, is, he's saying, I'm fine, but it's, you're fine, but it's not comfortable. Right. And he's just getting mauled. Correct. And Kobe's going to flatten him out again. He's going to pull that right arm, excuse me, that left arm away. And that's it, thank you, right. the that forced a response from Masvidal. Oh, look at this. Take down of his own. But then a little Reverse sweet. immediately. Look at this. And now Colby's got his back once more. Beautiful, Just beautiful control. Beautiful control by Colby Covington. This is a, a, lifetime, of a, a yep. lifetime of a lifetime the wrestling man. You know, these transitions, these scrambles. Former Pac-10 champion, two-time NCAA All-American for the Oregon State oh, University. Man. Vintage Colby Covington here in this that. little round. Oh! Big left. Huge left by Jorge. And, and again! Right Late action from Mosquito, all but round three for Colby. Deep breath. Hey, we got two more rounds to make something big happen. We're gonna hurt this motherfucker. We need elbows and knees, big stuff. Take your angle, elbows face. Let's accelerate, come on. And this is the big moment in that round with Colby was able to achieve the takedown. He got the takedown and he got it much easier than he did in the previous rounds and just brutalized Jorge with elbows like that, big punches to the body, ground and pound, big round. All right, round four brought to you by Manscaped's Lawnmower 4.0, the official electric trimmer of UFC. Visit manscaped.com now. All right, Mike Brown in the corner of Jorge Masvidal calling for High voltage weapons, elbows and knees, creating an angle to land one. We'll see if Masvidal can follow up on those commands. It's at this point now, Masvidal, and he knows this, he's gonna go for broke. You know, he did land a couple of nice shots at the end of that round, but his life depends on maintaining separation. A little bit more octagon awareness. He cannot allow himself to get backed up. And when he does, he needs to move around, use the footwork, be elusive, Plants himself in the middle of the octagon and then go to work again. Because look, out in the open, he's defending the shots. And for the most part, Covington doesn't shoot many attempts in the open. It's against the fence. He needs to move now. Well, right. I'll plant the feet. That was a solid left hand and a right hand by Colby. Gonna underhook that right hand, separate that grip. minute come by here round 14 Thomas yeah Bisbee you're right and the reason why he's doing that is because his legs are so straight when he's when he's in his stance he needs to bend his legs and start using them as a as, to move but it, it, why his legs being so straight he's just getting pushed into the fence he always has that upright stance and I guess that's the downfall of that yeah to Dean's point if you're a little bent you can explode left and right a little better Now he's going to get off the right. Fence. An opportunity to circle to yes. the center, and he isn't taking it. Correct. Oh, that's oh, a big, big shot for shot. Colby. Big shot for Colby. A lot of folks out there on the interwebs thought Covington had a 10 8 in round three. I agree. He is four of 12 unofficially on his takedown attempts. But the Covington pressure on full display tonight. Three minutes to go, round four.
This is such a relentless, grueling way to Stop fight. He's grabbing his shorts. Oh, it is. It's absolutely exhausting. And from Colby's perspective, sorry, uh, Jorge's perspective, just so frustrating. You know, you want a little separation. So in your mind, you could actually fight. You know, when you're the more of the striker, you're like, he thinks that Colby's stalling the fight. But the reality is this is the style of fight that Colby plays. Colby just clips him with a left hand and a high kick. Yep. Big jab, big left hand. Oh, 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 he he is up. hurt. Still two full minutes here, round four, all Covington. Good head position here by Covington as well. Right under the chin. Nice Ooh, elbow. Good elbow. Oh, good body kick by Jorge. That's nice. Oh, oh, he oh. He's lost his elbow. He cannot let him off the hook. Now a left hook from George. It's now or never. This is the best chance. Oh, the and great hand got Covington's attention. And again, he's got to go. Mike Brown in full-fledged desperation mode, trying to get him to press forward. He's allowing Colby to recover here. Just like Nate Diaz versus Leon Edwards. When he landed that big shot, got to capitalize on it. And perhaps lost it all. Oh! Battling some fatigue as well. Minute to go in the round. Never mind the kicks. Needs to hit the jaw. Colvin seems like he's recovered. He's had a great striking round himself as well. And we clinch, and a lot of people just sat back down in their seats. There should be a betting line on whether they hug after this fight. <laughs> I asked them this week. They both said, are you out of your mind this big? No, we will not be hugging after the fight, but still, there's a potential. I got 20 bucks as they hug. All right, oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like Masvidal thought about a spinning attack there. I mean, how can they not respect themselves? Exactly. Respect each other rather after this. Because you feel like that the, the, the venom or the hatred is so strong. But when you share 25 minutes like this, you have to respect one another. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, this is the big shot that sat Colby down. Counter, look oh at that right goodness. on the end of the chin. Oh my goodness, perfect, it's a perfect punch. placement. Look at that. Boom, wait for it, there it is. Triggers the head, snaps it to the side, puts him down to one knee, but Colby gets right back up. His chin's absurd. It's his will as much as it, it's his actual chin. He just refuses. He's gotta turn games yeah. again, Georgie, come on. And it's conditioning as well. The better condition you were in, the better you recover from shots. Come on, let's go. Let's win this fight. One more round. Jab, elbow, jab, jab, elbow. Jab, 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 elbow. Behind the block. So somewhat fittingly, it all comes down to this fifth and final round. Five minutes to decide this Masvidal-Covington rivalry for eternity. Standing ovation from the assembled masses here at the T-Mobile Arena. Masvidal in red. Covington takes the center in black. Final round. That's a big shot. Great start by Covington, but he's going to lose it. He's going to be very careful here. And look at that. Excellent job by Colby. Steps Passes. over. Yep. I mean, big. I mean, that could have been Masvidal's last chance. Masvidal desperately gets to a sitting position. Colby immediately spun to take his back. And as he does that, Laces up the leg, put yes. one hook in, masterfully done. It makes Masvidal carry his weight, threatens with the choke. 
Masvidal's been great about tucking that chin, though. Never really been in jeopardy there. Like right here. I mean, there's that fulcrum choke, the one that could be used on Connor. The little bit different position, he's got to have the forearm behind the back. Masvidal's out. Nicely done. Covington trying to use his wrestling to close out a decision win, potentially. He's had some moments with his hands, of course. I mean, you got to give it to Masvidal because fighting out of these positions time and time again is not easy. It is incredibly difficult. He's done a good job of blocking that hook, that right hook from the right leg. But Kobe's just wearing on him, just grinding. Now he's carrying his weight again. Yeah, I was just going to say, as you said before, making him carry his weight. He's got his arms around him and he's just sagging down. So for Masvidal to still stay standing, he's holding up two body weights. Don't forget, right after this main event, full recap on the UFC 272 post show. Teddy Atlas, Chael Sonnen, Anthony Smith, Michael Eaves all standing by upstairs, and we will join them after this main event. Just such dominance on the ground by Colby. And Jorge, if, you know, he's got half the round left. He's, he's got to make something happen. He's so hard to get those hooks in. If he can get those hooks in, he could get a finish, but Masvidal defended very well. Offering nothing offensively, but he's stopping Colby from getting the finish. And Covington controlling his breathing at his relentless best 23 minutes into a 25 minute fight. Just beating him up here. They're good shots. Yes, he's making them count. Under two to go. And what happens is you keep chipping away with those little shots. You get confused if you're Masvidal. You don't know where the punches are coming from. And then all of a sudden, one of those punches comes under the throat, or sorry, under the chin, and you're getting choked out. Masvidal's trying to turn it around. But Kobe's just the, the better wrestler, the superior grappler. Almost 10 minutes of ground control time for the supremely conditioned Colby Chaos Covington. Like him or not, how do you not respect him? You know he's got the respect of his peers, at least as far as the athlete is concerned. The way this is ended, I feel like I'm going to lose 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm taking it. <laughs> Free sandwich for me. <laughs> Final minute. Stepping over into mount here. Oh. Jorge is absolutely exhausted, too. Kobe's going to try to finish him. He's going to try to do something to really beat him up here. Really put a stamp on it. Yeah, if you're Kobe, if you've had this dominance of a performance, you really want to get the finish. Yeah. And he's trying. He's got the fulcrum choke now, but it has to be behind the shoulder. The forearm has to be behind the shoulder to really make it count. And it must have been good oh. because he gave up the mount. Correct. That was the only way oh, to there alleviate it is. the full pressure. Mount. Full mount. Masvidal exuding toughness late, but all Covington in a dominating round five. So Colby Covington and Jorge Masvidal go the distance. Security immediately enters the octagon. But Covington proving yet again that he is the second best welterweight in the world. His wrestling and grappling on full display yet again tonight. Yeah, I owe you 20 bucks. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Masvidal disappointed. Covington barely breathing. Look heavy. at that. Masvidal's a wild man. Listen, I'm telling you, if he gets a chance, he'll, he'll take, take a, a swing. swing at him. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Look, there oh, we yeah. go. As I say, I've had it with Masvidal. He's came at me several times. <laughs> hotel rooms, hotel lobbies, restaurants. 
He doesn't care. <laughs> well, competitively, the rivalry may end here, but doesn't figure to end anytime soon. Tonight's fight replay is brought to you by Sweet Sweat. I mean, look at this. Nice success when they were in the open for Masvidal. But anytime Colby closed the distance, he got his hands on him and he forced him down to the canvas. From there, Masvidal was impressive strategically, defensively, pardon me. In the open, landed nice leg kicks, landed some good shots. Of course, Colby had success of his own. There's a really nice elbow by Masvidal. Just a little out of range here. Covington coming on strong here, landing a few shots. It's the end of round three, coming up now. Good forward pressure, story of the fight, walking forward, throwing shots to disguise the takedown. And then he gets on top, and then from here, round three was a big round. A lot of ground and pound action. Really beat him up in this one. Round four, Masvidal made it interesting. Covington landed a good head kick there. Masvidal lands this one here, snaps the chin to the side, puts him down momentarily. In round five, Colby knew what he had to do to seal the victory. Go forward, pressure, land shots, puts him down. And that's what he did, dominated the entire round. Bit of an unusual takedown, resulted in a scramble, which Colby won, got on top, and then this was the rest of the round. Domination from Colby Covington. All right, the official decision is presented by Bandai Namco's Elden Ring. Explore a new world created by Hide Taka Miyazaki and George R.R. R. Martin, available now on PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. One final time tonight, here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 50-44, and 50-45. For the winner, by Yundai! decision, Colby, chaos, Colby, Tom.